Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So another, again, congratulations whilst I'm at my desk, which it seems to be like where I'm living right now, but over 9,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I'm glad you guys are liking the comments. Um, not comments, content, but we'll go with that one because comments is pretty cool because I am replying to a lot of you guys, which is like over 100 comments. So you can appreciate the work. Um, so obviously we've been talking a lot about um, FX and so on and so forth. In this episode, we've got some really, really cool stuff. I have a big surprise in this um, episode, which you have to stay tuned to find out exactly what I'm doing. It's uh, pretty epic. And a lot of you guys said you want to see more about my lifestyle and what I've been up to. So this is just one of those things that um, is achievable via trading, which is cool. So, so get ready. It's going to be a really good one. And don't worry, the Pidgey was okay. And he is back in this episode starring Pidgey. So Kathy from Samuel Co. Trading. Give Samuel Co. Trading a nice pop-up. And um, she's been absolutely staring in the office at this awesome car on Redline Specialist website. So Redline Specialist Cars, give them a pop up. And they're on fire at the moment, absolutely killing it. And um, she'd been staring at this car for absolutely ages. And um, she was going to go and buy it herself. And I decided to jump in and buy it before her so we could surprise her and give it to her. So it's pretty exciting times. Um, she's literally just been looking at this one car the entire time. So I'm going to show you exactly what that car is and walk you over to it. So. So this is the car. She's been after a Jaguar F-Type, which is uh, this exact car, convertible in white. This is the car that she wanted. She's wanted it for a while. So I'm going to give you like nice amount of loads of cutaways now of all of the cars so you can see how insane it is. be at all she might just find this like meh but I know I thought it was quite a cool thing to do she's been working really hard at Samuel Co Trader now a lot of the Samuel Co traders will know her as well from HR working really really hard in Samuel Co looking after all the traders so this is quite cool as well if you check this out a little handle it's obviously really dirty because it's coming all the way down from Harrogate so unfortunately it's not going to be clean for the photo uh, but yeah watch this look that's pretty cool it's got a brand new Jaguar on and open it up. So it sounds like a bit of an animal with the Jaguar F-Type. Um, and I actually can't imagine Kathy in this car, to be fair. Like, I don't know why, but we, you, you'll see what I mean later on, I think. So let's, uh, let's, let's start her up. That's what happens at Samuel Co Trading when you're, you know, not expecting something to go in your direction and people around you are listening. Remember, Samuel Co Trading is like an insane big family where everyone looks after each other. So, pretty interesting journey as well. And another one, Adrian's literally just got a, a full on uh, surprise as well that he's been working on for a long time. So, I'm hoping that he'll allow us to film what his surprise is. For those loyal fans, get guessing because I'm pretty sure a lot of you know what Big A has been up to. But yeah, what, what an animal. Let's give it one more rev. <laughs> Scary. Jaguar F-Type. Let's see what her reaction is. Yo, on, on that note, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be looking at this Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, obviously we've got, don't forget, the 911 Turbo S, which is my dirty girl. Uh, looking pretty insane. 
didn't mean for that little weird kind of combo thing there with the dirty thing of it. just in traffic at the moment um, but yeah I'm pretty uh, excited to be heading back now to go and surprise and see her reaction pretty pretty excited hopefully it's not gonna be a dead reaction and it's gonna actually be exciting I didn't realize how much power this car actually has um, especially on the back end because it sounds absolutely like an animal going through the tunnels um, it's all look pretty suave to be fair and it looks, looks nice so um, God knows God knows how she's going to react in this car but it's nice to be able to uh, give back and um, you know look after those that have looked after ourselves throughout this entire journey you know throughout the, throughout life throughout trading throughout the markets and throughout Samuel Co so it's a, it's a nice experience to be able to give back um, and you know you guys ask for a lot more lifestyle and so this is what this is one of the lifestyle things that I do um, so yeah I'm looking forward to this and see exactly how she's going to react excited nervous let's go so I'm literally down the road now and I'm trying to think uh, she's so she, so Kathy's come back to mine for a cup of tea with Nicola and she's got no idea so I'm literally just down the road now so I've let Nicola, Nicola knows exactly what's going on and she's kind of got to, to hide her. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just basically say that, oh, I've crashed my, I've crashed my Porsche. You can come have a look at my damage, I can't believe what's happened, la la la. Make her come outside and she'll see her car. So I'm just gonna let Nicola know now exactly what's going on. Hello? Hey, you all right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just literally coming down the bumpy road now. I'm okay. I'm going to make out that I've crashed my Porsche. So she comes outside to seize the damage and then she sees what's actually going on. Okay, do you want this? All right, I'll the gig. I'm, I'm going to take it slowly, come down the road and then I'll come in. So just you stay where you are and I'll come in, all right? Okay, okay, all right. All right, I'll cool. All right, bye. Bye. So Nick's really good at, 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 at pretending as well on this surprise. So. Here goes nothing, uh, let's go. We've managed to get outside, Nick's closed all the curtains so no one can see. So they're gonna, they're gonna think it's just the fact that it's my car that's turned up. So I'm just gonna pretty much, going, oh my God, my pigeon's back as well. Look, I'm not even joking, pigeon is back. So, look, look little pigeon's back. I'm not even joking, not even joking. We thought that he was like dying or some shit. He's just trolling me sitting on my gate now. Da 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 da. It's the one and only Digo Double G. No, 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 no. Let's try to get the reaction. Right, I need to get the seat right up. That's it, that's it. I think that is. No, I can't. <laughs> I need a cushion. <laughs> oh, wow. And forward. So, do you, want to, um, do you want to know what the other surprise is as well? What? 
I bought it for you. Oh, oh you did it! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Been in it the whole time. You nailed it. Sorry, guys, I just made you I can't believe our pigeon's back. Like after all this little thing, where is Pidgey gone as well? Look, Pidgey, Pidgey came to share the moment as well. Like he, he must be like under the car or something. Like, as if Pidgey's back as well. Literally, how cool was that? Where's my look? look. Look, I'm not even joking. Look, we have a pet. We literally, I have a pet pigeon. Look, pet pigeon came to share this moment with you as well. Look, look, he's like, he's, he's, he's officially our pet now. Go on and give it a rev. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. That is cool, isn't it? Milf alert! <laughs> Just don't let the pigeon ah. sit on it. <laughs> I can't believe Pidgey came and shared the moment. To be fair, I know. How mad's that? Yes. Cool. Don't have to touch much, do you? No. On that pedal. No. Blimey! Just goes. You feel as though you're going really fast as well. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> 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 well, you know where this is parked? Right in that middle spot in the garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one's going somewhere else. <laughs> I'll, I'll be alright, I just need to get used oh. to it. <laughs> So I got I got Nick to put all the blinds down. I know she said, Oh I'm getting cold. She said, I'll, I'll put these blinds down and make it warmer. <laughs> I didn't even click. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I love all this. Yeah, it's great. I think we've got a pet pigeon now. I think you have. <laughs> Come on, go on, give it a bit of welly. It's like you're scared to put your foot down. I am. <laughs> I'm going to show you one of my trays, which is one of my favourite stocks um, called Seven Trent. Um, I'll let you guys go Google, Google and go research lots about it, but it's water. We all need water. We love water, and we can't live without water. And neither can cucumbers. So uh, let's have a look at Seven Trent. So I bought Seven Trent down here, um, off the low of this range, and targeting the top of this range. Um, my stop loss is just below here, and again targeting the top. So just trading the range. And you can see at the moment we're up roughly uh, just over £1,200 um, on the position. And we've still got a reasonable kind of two and a half grand move. So all been going well, hitting the target maybe in a week or so. Should be around £3,500 profit, which is great from one stock. Um, so that's something that we're obviously looking at um, achieving. Um, so it's definitely worth advising having a look into um, stocks like Seven Trent which um, I, I like preaching about and trading. So, you know, nice and rangy, nice and predictable. 
um, and pretty much solid on their growth as well. And Seven Trent actually this year has probably had one of the, the biggest sell-offs there, there has been. So it's actually a great stock to look into for a long-term hold for those guys that are uh, less risky and so on and so forth. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch all my screens and I'm going to show you some of my FX trades. We're in a trade at the moment, pound short. Uh, market is slowly tumbling, so 20k challenge is going reasonable. So, you can see here it's nearly up uh, 100 pounds at the moment. We've had mixed data come out of the US. So, with the mixed data coming out of the US, um, we didn't really know which way it was going to push the market on this. So, we've had news that has come out to give you a rough idea consumer price index, X foods and energy year on year came in better than expected at 2.4%, which is good. Um, but at the same time, we had bad uh, CPI data year on year at 2.9%. So a bit of mixed data, one's medium um, in kind of impact, the other one's high in impact. So the high impact was actually beneficial for us, um, strengthening the dollar, pushing pound down. So that's what we can see that's kind of happening at the moment now with pound pushing down. And we just got a break of S2, which is uh, quite a significant level as well. So we'll be watching that and seeing how that pans out. But yeah, uh, let me show you some of my other positions. So I was in a short sell over here, and I actually ended up catching a really bad hedge. So it literally, uh, as for you guys that have been watching this journey throughout this uh, process, you would have seen that my uh, hedge is 50 pips and I keep saying how I was so close to catching a hedge. I think I jinxed myself because it literally caught the hedge just off of the back of the spread, which was quite frustrating. Um, as you can see here, it literally just hedged. The market didn't even touch it, so it was just a spread, so really annoying. And then the market came all the way down, and then I scaled into the sell side uh, with another sell and another sell and a sell down here. So I closed the one buy and all of these sell positions in a bundle of fun, bundle of joy, and made good money. So uh, to give you an idea, that was all of these trades over here. So I actually don't know how much, I can't remember where you saw up to last time, but here's some other sell positions that I've taken. I've been obviously piping on about my sell positions on pound now for quite a while. Here's another sell in here and here. So. I don't know how much we actually got round to covering, but you can see all my positions are updated here. And obviously, we're now in obviously another sell position. So um, at the moment, we're up 1,600. You can see all the positions that closed at 10.56.35 was all the positions from last night. Um, so obviously, we closed at minus 528. So there's a real loss there, guys. Ready for that? Like minus 528. But don't worry, because at the same time, we obviously got the 202 pounds one. Um, we got this one here, which was 153, so 350 plus this 550 plus this um, 650, 700, um, and the 30 minus that was around plus 200 on the day. Um, so it's still a plus up day, even though that we had a lot. So that's um, that's those positions. Obviously, we're in pound short at the moment now. Um, obviously, a bit conscious that it's now 140. Um, essentially, we could be um, moving on to a uh, the weekend and I don't really want to leave an intraday position open so that's pretty much that as a roundup um, yeah I will show you some of my other positions in a little bit when I've done a bit more work so that trade that I was in that I was telling you about um, so on and so forth so we just closed it out it's just testing the daily lows um, so obviously I went short here and then it messed about for quite a while in the day and started teasing us like it's been doing all week. And then it's hit the lows. Elliot is still short, I believe, um, but mine's closed out. So um, plus 161 on the day. I couldn't really do much with today because all of this movement kind of happened in the morning when the mutants were on. So I wasn't really available to take position. So this was my first opportunity. And this is my first opportunity to exit. So it's only been one trade on pound dollar today, but again, uh, 161. So we are approaching that 10% mark on the gain. We're at around 9% gain now. So just over, well, coming up a week now um, on trading the 20K challenge, and we're nearly up 2K. So it's going well. That's not too bad. Um, 
in regards to the games. So we'll see how it keeps going and go from there. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, 2k profit nearly. Um, trades closed. So update done. There we go. No trades over for the weekend. It's the freaking weekend. Yes. Get to chill now. Uh, not worry about open positions and all the rest of it. The only thing to worry about is this. Look, you've got to watch this. Look. What the hell? What are those? What are those? Style. What are those? 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 You like them? <laughs> They're amazing, aren't they? These are insane. What are those? It's so cool. There we go. That is what you call fashion. That's the only thing to worry about for the weekend. Seriously. <laughs> anyway. Cool. That's it. <laughs> So guys, don't forget to subscribe and invite your friends who want to learn and want to get involved in free education because that's what we're all about with yieldowl.com. Bye-bye. And also make sure that you comment below what you'd like to see in the next episode. Is it more trading, FX, is it stocks? Is it Pidgey? Is it lifestyle? Let me know, comment, let me know what you think of the video. It's always great getting your feedback, guys. And again, thank you for subscribing. Let's go straight and smash that 10K subscribers and then onwards and upwards from there. Thanks for supporting me, guys, on this. And um, yeah, thumbs up and comment. Cool. Peace. Bye.